Welcome back to the final part of North Carolina Tree Identification with Durham Soil and Water Conservation District. The Flowering Dogwood. Named and admired for the white drifts of flowers it adds to the woodlands in early spring, it grows throughout the state, usually under the larger forest trees, typically reaching heights of 10 to 20 feet with a 12 to 18 inch trunk diameter. The leaves are opposite and three to five inches long. The veins curve like a bow and tend to parallel the margin of the leaves. The bark is dark red brown, dividing into small scaly blocks on older trees. Sugar maple, or hard maple, is common only on the cool slopes of our higher mountains. Leaves are opposite, palmately lobed, and veined, and have five lobes, in rare cases three lobes, that are separated by rounded, shallow sinuses. Leaves are three to five inches in length and width, heart-shaped with sparse, large, pointed teeth on the margins. Red maple, also called swamp maple or soft maple, is widely distributed through the state. Under ideal conditions, this tree may reach 115 feet in height and 6 feet in diameter, but it more commonly grows 40 to 70 feet tall. Red maple leaves are 3 to 5 lobed and have coarsely toothed margins. The leaves are 2 to 6 inches long and are somewhat broader than long. The paired winged fruit is reddish and V-shaped. It ripens in the late spring or early summer on drooping stems that are 3 to 4 inches long. On young trunks, the bark is smooth and light gray, and on older trunks, the bark is thick, dark gray, and separated by vertical ridges into large plate-like scales. Black Walnut Black Walnut only grows well on rich bottomlands in moist, fertile coves and on lower slopes throughout the state. Its leaves are alternate, pinnately compound, 12 to 24 inches long, with 15 to 23 sharply oval, fine tooth, long pointed leaflets. The bark is thick, dark brown to black, and is divided by deep fissures into rounded ridges. Honey locust. Scattered throughout the state, except in the high mountain areas, it sometimes grows in the forest, but is more commonly found growing beside roads and fields. Its leaves are 7 to 8 inches long, pinnately compound, and often bipinnately compound. Its leaflets are oval and are a shiny dark green above and dull yellow green below. The bark is dark brown or gray and is divided into narrow, flat plates. The pecan tree, although not native to North Carolina, has been widely planted throughout the state during the past 200 years and has begun to reproduce naturally. Pecan leaves are 12 to 20 inches long with 9 to 17 toothed leaflets. Each leaflet is 4 to 8 inches long, 1 to 3 inches wide, and appear dark yellow green above and paler below. The fruit is a four ribbed dark brown ellipsoidal husk, and the bark on a mature tree is light brown to gray. It is composed of low scaly ridges separated by very narrow shallow fissures. The shack bark hickory, often referred to as scaly or shell bark hickory, thrives best on rich damp soil and is common along streams and on moist hillsides throughout the state. It commonly grows 60 to 80 feet tall with a one to two and a half foot trunk diameter. Shagbark hickory is named for its light gray bark that separates into thick plates a foot or more long. The plates curl outward at both ends. Older trees develop a distinctive shaggy trunk. Green ash, also called red ash, is the most widely distributed of the ashes among the state. It's common along river and low grounds in the Piedmont of North Carolina. The compound leaves oppositely attached on the twigs are 6 to 9 inches long and have 7 to 9 entire or obscurely toothed leaflets. They are green on top and lighter green on the bottom. 
The bark is a half inch or more thick and is brown tinged with red and is slightly furrowed or ridged. Thank you for sticking with us through all four parts of North Carolina tree identification with Durham Soil and Water Conservation District.